All right, guys, so I wanted to go ahead and make a little video today showing you um, how to put colliders automatically on different assets that you're using. So here I'm using some Kinney assets. I'm starting to develop a game. Um, I was making a text adventure game, but I think it makes more sense to have it as a proper like 3D game. I, I think it just makes more sense. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm using Kinney assets, which are some great assets that you can find. They're completely free. They're uh, licensed under the CCO 1.0, I believe, which is essentially just, you know, public domain. So you, you don't have to give it credit. You can use it in any product or, you know, um, a project, whether it be commercial or, you know, just personal. But Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to, for one, use these assets and also how to, you know, get a collider on them automatically. First things first, what you want to do is, you know, create, a, you know, your main scene and everything. And um, we'll click on here and you want to add a child node and you want to add a mesh instance. And so add that and we'll just name this, um, We'll do it uh, Riverside, we'll call it Riverside because I'm going to be adding um, some some size to this river over here. So we'll, we'll, we've created that mesh instance, then we need to go over here to the mesh. And so what when you download your Kinney assets specifically, you'll get GLTF format files and OBG form, uh, format files. And um, you'll, or excuse me, not OBG, OBJ. Um, you'll want to you want to have both of these imported. The GLTF, we're not really going to bother with right now, but these two you, you'll want to take in. And so we'll go over here to mesh and create or click load. Then we'll go into assets, OBG format, and then you'll see all of these assets here that I've got in here. And right here is the ground river side, and we're gonna open that. And so you'll see it's overlapping right here, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get that sorted in just a second. Um, uh, actually, we'll go ahead and move it right now. So if you press control, you'll be able to move your assets in, in the grid, like locked format. And so we'll move this over here, and then what we wanna do is go into the transform, and actually we need to zero everything out first and then move it over here. That's probably much, much better. Um, oh, well, I didn't need to do that. I, it was zeroed out. Good job, Tyler. But anyway, so once you've got it over here, we're gonna rotate it on the uh, Y axis 90 degrees and that puts it where it looks proper and then to just add a, um, to get the, so if we were to go ahead and play this right here, what you'd see is we can walk over here and then we'll start falling straight through it. There is not a collider on it already, but it's super, super simple to get it automatically put there. So you'll just want to click mesh and then create tri mesh static body create that and then you will see if I can zoom in here hopefully this is visible but the colliders are now there so we can go ahead and click play and now if we walk over here we don't fall through it um, unless you walk straight off of it then you fall but you've got colliders on it now and so super simple super easy but just in case you you're new to Godot here you go. You know, it's just a super simple tutorial and uh, hopefully it helped you out. If it did, please hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing because I'll be doing more Godot content here coming forward. So thank you for watching. If you want to get your you know name put up and help support the content that I make here, you can. Uh, I'll be throwing up the screen. You can check me out over on Odyssey or LBRY. It, um, it's, if you don't know what it is, uh, LBRY is a protocol for sharing videos, articles, content in general, and Odyssey is a front end for it, sort of like youtube.com. And uh, yeah, it, it it works great. It's a fantastic YouTube alternative, respects you. It's a great platform. You can go over there, you'll get tipped in, or excuse me, rewarded in LBC for using the platform. LBC is the cryptocurrency a platform's based off of, and you can give it to your favorite, you know, video creators, content creators, whoever, and uh, at least me. I very much appreciate it.
Also, if you'd like to support me in a different way, you can check me out over on Libra Pay. Be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you'll subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Peace.